Hey guys, it's a deadly kitten here. If you are new here, welcome. We do a lot of unboxings. Today is no different. Today we are getting into this Evolving Skies Elite Trainer Box. Um, this I won over at XP Collect on Whatnot one fine night. Um, they were doing a charity stream and I had donated. I didn't even know like that you were, that they were going to put you in a raffle to win things, um, for donating. I just donated because kids in need. And I ended up winning. So, I'm just trying to get everything out. And I will give you guys the code card too. Um, I can tell you that this is one of the box is at least a reprint box um or part of the reprint anyway i really like these dice they're kind of like tie-dyed okay so let's see if i can get anything out of these starting with a sylveon pack why is this crooked all of a sudden i do not know So, let's see if I can potentially get anything new. Now, this set, well, like most sets that, I've, at least for me, um, sorry, I'm very ADD right now. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, like most sets, I only need hits. It's, I think the only thing I need, um... Like, the one that it's most predominant for me, I think, is Pokemon Go. The Pokemon Go set, I only need, like, three cards. And it's literally the three cards that I need are Charizard and the two Mewtwo's, I think. But, yeah, with Evolving Skies, I don't know why this set is very, very difficult to pull anything for. Um, at least for me it has been. But I do know that I think I have almost every single just regular card that there is in the set. And I just need hits. So, here is hoping I get something new for my binder. Man, this one's hard to separate. Oh, you can tell when I've just been either just making too many videos or whatnot. Because I just, I'm full of energy. There we go, Ludicolo. It's a, it's a baby Hoyle. Something. I just start off, like, certain videos, like, with so much energy, and then my energy just depletes within the day, <laughs> or within every single video, so it's like, I'm spaztastic one day, or at one point in time, next one, nope, and if we have time, because apparently I'm going through these super freaking fast, I may open up one of the new Paldea collection boxes just to see what's in those, because I got those today, too. So I finally got those. Like usually they're pretty good um on getting me pre-orders right away. Like I usually get them the day that they come out. For some odd reason recently I have not been getting my pre-orders. Um I've been not getting my pre-orders like on the day it comes out and I've been getting them like a week later now I don't know necessarily if it's on them like and I mean it's because yes I did get all these through XP collect but I've also been noticing that noticing that with the Pokemon Center as well because there are some things 
like um with the Pokemon Center like I've bought and it just takes a while all of a sudden to get to you like I have placed an order and this is what makes no sense to me I placed an order through Pokemon Center because um I wanted to get my special delivery Charizard which I did get by the way and so I place this order, like, in order to use your code card, like, you have to spend, I think it's, like, 35 bucks. So I spent 35 bucks. No big deal. Um, and then it was just, like, a week had passed. Then two weeks had passed. And I'm like, okay. Like, it was just so odd. And then finally, after three weeks had passed, I had emailed a Pokemon company. I'm like, what is going on with this? Um, and apparently, which I still find funny, there's only two packs left. This one and one other one out of this. And I might open up one of those Paldea collections. But it was just so funny because I had emailed them. And one of the things that I had put, I had bought was the, the mini booster pack deal thing um of lost origins that has like six packs in it and i had bought one of those and they finally emailed me and said oh yeah um we had to cancel that one part of your order because for some odd reason it's on the website but like we don't have any of it so, I was like, okay. Another baby coil. Man. Today is just not my day. Maybe I shouldn't open up anymore after this. This is the last pack. It's an Umbreon pack. Can we get the Umbreon? Man. But yeah, they had to cancel that. They still sent, like, the the two other items that I ended up buying. Um. So, I bought, like, two balls. Um bought the love ball and I forget what other one I bought just to you know get me over that $35 and so they still sent me the other one they sent me everything else including the Charizard card so I was shocked but they were really sweet about it okay a drag salt well at least it's something Man, I'm telling you, though, like, some of these, like, this set is, like, the hardest set to pull anything. At least I have something. It's not necessarily something that I need, but it is something. Let me go ahead, because I need to open this one, so I will be right back. Okay, I lied. I'm not going to open up the Paldea collection. I found two... Evolving Skies packs in my my thing of random packs. So I have no idea where these came from. I just have them. And I can tell you these are... This one at least is old code card. So this is from First Print. Wouldn't that be something if I just randomly had the best card and just a pack just sitting out of my side collection that I've just been sitting there for months? Well, nothing on that one. Got one last, though. One last Umbreon. old code card and let's see if we can end with a hit because like I said this seems to be one of the hardest sets for me to pull anything and I'm not counting like baby Hoyles obviously because like those they, they can come and go but anyway we are ending on 
I've done the tropes. I think I've gotten several tropes today. Anyway, that was everything that I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.